Yo, what's going on with you, you two? Jumpman Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid, guys. So today's release we gotta talk about. I mentioned it a little bit yesterday. Matter of fact, this week was a little busy, you know? I mean, it might not have been like crazy hyped up, but hey, I felt a little busy. You know, we had Tekken uh, phones dropping. We had the KD's return. We had the Alma Air Max came back out. And then we had the Pink 4s that came out today. Now, they actually sold out today everywhere. All right, they sold out on sneakers. They sold out all my local areas. I wasn't even able to do a pickup vlog, so, so we didn't even take a look at that. I was able to hit though on sneakers app. I was able to hit. I went ahead and got my wifey size, so it was all good. But it was pretty limited to where like I don't think we're gonna be seeing like hundred thousand pairs of shoes on GRs anymore. Well, unless it's like a, a Jordan Eleven that's coming out in the holidays or something like that, you know, or something kind of crazy OG. Then we might see something like that. But usually now I'm starting to see the trend now with a lot of GR Jordans are becoming pretty limited, like less than a hundred thousand pairs. Usually 100,000 pairs are kind of like regular, but that actually is a lot of pairs though. But uh, so the release was only about 25,000 pairs on Sneakers app. Now remember these were only like women sizing. So you got to do extensive sizes. It only goes up to a 12W, which is a men's size 10 and a half. Now it's pretty limited. Like I was saying, it seemed like even the, the smaller sizes was even more limited. Like a size five, only like 100 pairs. That's crazy. And then uh, I got wifey size, which was seven and a half, only a thousand pairs. Let's see, even my size, the size 11 is about 2,600. That seemed like the most sizing out there, actually. Or the 10, size 10 was 2,900. So, again, pretty limited, though. Only 25,000 pairs on Sneakers app. Sounds like a lot, but it's kind of not. And not only that, it seemed like a lot of stores didn't even get pairs. And I even know some stores did end up getting shipping delays. So in due time, guys, I know the resale is kind of high on them right now. They do retail at 215. I know people are trying to move them right now at like, and the market is actually doing pretty well. Smaller sizes from a size like four to about uh, six is about mid 200s, like 240, 260. And then even the bigger sizes, like wifey size around 260. And even the bigger sizes, like the men's sizes, is around like uh, size nine men is actually going to be 10 and a half W. It's like 250, 11, 250. So the bigger size is 10 and a half, which is about 270. That's the highest price point. That's probably, I, I, that's just probably going to be the highest price point of what it is right now because there's a lot of shipping delays. Matter of fact, I do not be surprised if we're going to see restocks like how we did with the white thunders i'm pretty sure we're going to see restocks from different stores every now and then just kind of casually just restocking on the website that's why i tell you guys make sure you guys follow like you know certain twitter pages they'll let you guys know when there's restocks they'll probably sell out because i still see white thunders restocking every now and then and i'm pretty sure we're probably going to see even nike doing some restocks too as well probably gonna be from the returns but the price is kind of high i mean it's okay i mean this is kind of what things are right now like they're at 250 260 i could probably see some people try to move these things locally like at 280 300 which is kind of crazy but hey i do see that in some cities and stuff like that i just let you guys know unless you absolutely need it right now like you need to wear it for a halloween fit or something like that just be patient you know just wait i can see these things go down to about at least retail which is like 220 215. i know some people are going to point out that yes it does look exactly like the unc air jordan 4. matter of fact it's basically the exact same pattern and colorway and shoe except for one's blue and the pink pair or orchid pink is actually pink up here that's it you know got the gray speckles and everything but i'm not sure i don't think it has a, the UNC the college tag right here but Again, is basically the same thing. Now I know how much these are going for. These are going for a crazy amount of bread. These are about like four, five hundred dollars, depending on size. Remember, these actually came out in men sizes and uh, GS sizes too. It looked like the these pink orchids or orchid pinks were only in women sizes only. So I didn't see any taller sizes or anything like that. Like I said, I went to a couple stores today. I went to two stores 
and they were all sold out. They didn't have any like leftovers, no nothing. It seemed like everybody picked them up. And each store told me they had pretty limited. And some even stores that I know that I usually go to said that they didn't even get pairs. They don't even have pairs yet. So there is going to be a lot of shipping delays like I was saying. Again, I just say right now, be a little patient unless you absolutely need, need it. The way how the market's been as of lately, especially on GRs, I get it. It's a four. It looks like the UNC, but it's a pink. I still think they're going to go down in a, in a few weeks. Once we start to see more restocks and then we're going to see more releases. And then, of course, people getting their pairs from sneakers and start to dump pairs. I do see the price going down. All right. So, but hey, they're not going for too much. So if you're okay with paying the 250, 280. But again, you know, I was, to me, in my, in my opinion, I'm very surprised that they did end up selling out. I'm guessing some of the girls actually do like these things and they actually want these shoes and everything. So... Hey, I didn't even get EA on JD Sports. Really, I was kind of like, huh, interesting. Like, I didn't get no EA. Even my Foot Locker only had shipping option. We didn't even have pairs in my local area. The only place that had them in my area were my Tier Zero store, which they sold out all morning. They only had 20 pairs. And even JD Sports, which was only EA, and they said that all the raffle people picked them up, supposedly. But is this going to be start the trend pretty soon on certain sneakers that we think there's going to be, you know, we're so used to, especially this year and last year, we're so used to sneakers sitting on shelves, being very easy to obtain, like super easy. I wonder if we're going to start to see this, this is going to be the trend coming up very soon when, you know, things are, you know, production, I was, we were saying, I was telling you guys all year, like production, production was going to be lessened pretty soon. Like Nike's seeing all these shoes sitting like they were above the production like almost every shoe about had like a hundred thousand pairs every release every weekend was a hundred thousand pairs even more and sometimes and then you know obviously shoes were sitting things were going on sale what did nike do they kind of cut back production and there's only like twenty thousand pairs even the white thunders wasn't over a hundred thousand pairs on release date so i'm even saying like even the fear fours that's coming out in two to three weeks those actually might be pretty tough. I'm pretty sure those are going to end up selling out. Now, even though a shoe does sell out and everything, doesn't mean this resale price is going to be super high or anything like that. But I'm just saying, like, I know that the black cement is going to be about about half a million pairs. There's going to be a lot of pairs of those, so don't worry about those. Even the Fear Fours, I still say, even though I think they're going to sell out, I still think there's not going to be that big of a problem. I think as long as you put in a little bit of footwork in, I think you'll be just fine. Meaning, like, you know, don't just rely on sneakers app. Maybe do a little bit of raffles here and there and stuff like that in, in stores. I think you'll be fine. A little bit of footwork goes a long way. So Black Cement is going to be, I think it's going to be pretty easy. We already know those 11s are going to be millions and millions of pairs of those, all right? So I'm just saying, man, I, I'm thinking we're going to start to see GRs, you know, starting to sell out pretty soon. You know, production is going to be cut back a lot. Looks like they cut back more than 50%. You know, especially now with Nike's new CEO, he's starting to see he wants Nike to get back to the glory days of what it once was. You know, back to, I guess, I guess, back to, you know, Nike was a top dog. I mean, I still believe Nike's still a top dog, but, you know, ASIC and, um, and New Balance, they're kind of chipping away. Even Adidas, Adidas is selling more than Nike nowadays. Just saying, you know, so I'm pretty sure we're going to get back into the groove of things. Um, you know, things are going to be a little bit difficult to, to copy if you don't put any footwork in. Like I said, I didn't put any footwork in for the these pinks. I, I mainly want to just get it for wifey. I did end up hitting on sneakers app, but I want to go to a store, you know, do like a vlog and stuff like that and check them out. But psh, every store was sold out, fam. Every store was sold out. So, hey, it just is what it is. And it's a big week. Big week, guys. Um, I feel like, you know, in the sneaker world, you know, we got we got a couple things, you know, a couple, a couple things that released today. I thought it was kind of, it did pretty good for the sneaker world, you know. Uh, but obviously, it's not like crazy hyped up because it seems like the only thing that's really hyped up nowadays is Travis Scott. If it's not Travis Scott, no one cares, which kind of just, I don't know, man. I, I'm, but we're going to get some great some great sneakers releases coming up very, very soon. This is Hollywood, uh, Halloween right now. I uh, hope everyone's being safe out there. I know people are going out tonight and, and all that, getting dressed up, so everyone be safe. Have a good time, though. Uh, and then Halloween's coming up. And then the next week following that, we're getting Black Toe 14s, where I think is going to be dope. Then the next week after that, Fear 4s. And then after that, Black Cements. We're going to get into it, guys. We're starting to get into this, uh, some of the, you know, the hype sneakers, some of the good drops in 2024. And then 2025, be prepared because we're going to get a lot of crazier stuff, all right? But, hey, you guys let me know. Do you guys end up copping these 
pink Air Jordan 4s. Did you like them or not? Like I said, I just want to go and get it for wifey. I think she would like them. I mean, she likes every other four, so I figure she would like them. So stay tuned for that. We might do like a little unboxing together with wifey and everything, all right? Anyway, guys, hey, just want to say I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at Chris and IG. Sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jumpin' Chris. Pish. Pew.